hello friends welcome to another vlog i thank you that you're here thank you for your time thank you for your presence so in today's video i want to, i want to share with you this video as i unbox my new washing machine yes come along and also i'm going to be sharing with you my green grocery haul the haul that the shopping that i did for this month for groceries and also i'm going to also to be unboxing another home appliance so i hope that you're going to stick till the end and we're going to be together as we unbox these new blessings in the house and to my subscribers thank you very much to all of you my viewers may god bless you just know that you're so much appreciated yes so come along and let's do this let's take it slow where you go i go to and if you hit the bottom i'm going down with you let's take it slow who cares where we got if you're not going nobody's going to come and install your machine like a technician make sure that you remove these bolts this one the four of them cheap and once you remove them make you have the replacement this one like this they were you have enough pieces you're supposed to put them in here and make sure that you store this one so that be you know you'll have a good time wherever you let's take it welcome back so in today's video as you have seen i want to show you my new washing machine that i bought last month so this is going to be like unboxing and also i'm going to be giving you a review so that in case you want to get it you like have an idea of what i'm talking about from the connection and everything that has to go with it so, so let's get get started on this machine so that you can get to see its features and what it's all about you can see we are going to do a bit of laundry because those that that whatever laundry basket imejang wachafu so tutafua kidogo so wacha let's connect let's connect so first i connect to the extension cable the, the outlet it's quite small it's short but the quality is unmatched also the inlet also is quite small it's quite short not small my machine is in the bedroom i have to extend this so that it can it can serve me or go beyond the whatever so i bought this so that it can be able to go to the bathroom and by the way i think you can put your machine anywhere as long as you are willing to invest in the horse pipe of which this one you are buying one meter for 100 so it's not that expensive you can buy it and just put your washing machine anywhere and then buy one that is long enough to take you to take the water to the outlet or where you want it to go so this horse pipe i connected it with this with this plastic pipe but of course you can get the the nipple yeah it's called the nipple you can get or something that will fit in between to connect the two so that is how it becomes long enough to go into my bathroom so on the on the outlet that way i'm sorted so that is how i connect it for uh get 12 for these and then these one are called the nipples so i got two of them one to the outlet from the tub from this so that i can connect with the pipe this is what i was saying you can buy in place of the green one that i have there and then you have this one that has i don't know what the name but it has three outlets as you can see goes to the wall here and here of course it helps with easy connection so this is something that you can basically try and do on for your own expect on your by yourself sorry especially if you don't have somebody to connect your water so that is where i keep it and the outlet they are all connected and now let's see how this baby looks like so we have already connected let me bring you closer so you just lift it up with a button you just long press for so that is how the machine looks like and of course here we have for the the liquid detergent and the soap so if it's liquid that down if it's detergent that up it has the first fabric softener and this one is for the bleaches so yes and when you want to clean you can always 
get the whole thing out so when we come back to the features so there's auto and then there's speed so this one you touch to select there what you want is that one you just press speed as you can see it's changing so the, from here you set but that one was on auto mode this is start button let's see the features so you're going to start here it has cotton and if it is cotton it comes here and explains in case you want to clean cotton but it has stains you just select the stain that you want here and it is going to do the function then if you want to delay you want to use steam well and good and then you come here this is the time you can always change your time here just by touching you just touch and it goes everywhere you want it to do temperature of course you can choose up to 90 degrees but i really use that i use 30 and 40 then speed how the speed this is the speed of spinning the speed here for the machine how long <coughs> sorry you want it to speed the speed if you want to do an extra rinse of course you can do it how many times do you want to rinse your clothes it's all there indicated then we come back to synthetic also you can deal with stains when it comes to synthetic but it's auto meaning that it is going to select the time itself the quantity of the load in this case you can do nothing except temperature and speed we come to duvets that is auto you get all the steam all the features are there i love that you come to duvets yeah you come to wool 41 minutes this one you can do your own thing come to delicate of course again you can change come to outdoor come to refresh this refresh functions is like for example right now it is it's raining and when i take my towels outside they don't get to dry so i can just come here and just do refresh i put my towels in there one spin they come out dry do you have any clothes in the wardrobe that you need them to like refresh you don't want to clean them put them here they are refreshed of course baby care comes with spin steam so not all functions allow steam and i get to understand that that is in all machines and so it has baby then you have mix you get to get all the features there we have express for just 15 minutes so that is the quick wash then we have fast it is one hour then you have spin of course it's auto if you want to spin you can select everything yourself we have and then you have eco 20 that is auto meaning that the machine has control of what of what you want to do when you're using eco 40 to 60 sorry when you're using that feature the machine has full control of everything that you're doing and i love that it so this is the start button you can add clothes when the cycle is going so it has the ah it has the add item features it has the of course the delay you can you can delay your clothes to do them later and of course it has chart lock yeah it has a chart lock what else yeah and when you when there there's when you're doing your laundry and then the electricity like kenya power do their thing i love that when it, the power comes back it continues from where it has stopped so, so for me that's a plus when it comes to this machine i really love i really love that because i can't imagine with the kenyan power having to restart your machine and everything so it just continues from where it stopped and another feature that i love is that in case for this machine is really important because like some issues it has when you have this you can solve them yourself like for example you see here these are the problems that the machine can experience these ones and how you can solve them and how you can solve them like the way the instant port does the one that i have when it has issues it says like error one error two so this century we had this error four but because of the what the pressure of the water and i'm glad to say that we were able to I'm happy to say that it indicated what the issue was and of course you can see that it solves the issue itself. You just read here what you're supposed to do. We did that. It was the pressure of the water and the machine was good. It has a light bulb on, on the inside. Yes, and of course as usual when you're doing when you're using the the front load once you're done always leave the door open or else it is going to develop some funny smells which are not the fault of the machine. So let's do one load of laundry and do and see how it works let's start with my sheets Uno.
not supposed to use like fabric softener but let me just do a bit of that and I also I know that my my sheets are combined they have different colors but still I'm going to use vinegar yes so let's do this which one I want to use I want, I don't, let me do first because they are just sheets and they are not that, that dirty I remove them after two days so we can do first so we learn as we go so i've noticed that if i want to do express it it's indicate it was indicated 15 minutes but when i change the temperature of the water it's changed itself for 46 minutes if i change let's see so if it has even 31 minutes you see so it sets itself it is just going it's smart it's a smart appliance so when you give it 40 40 it is going to change according to how it wants to fu to function so please let's get started. if i want to put like child lock but basically i don't need because my daughter is not all that into all these things so you just press speed you just press speed and you see so there's child lock so nobody can open when it's on child lock mode and so we have started cleaning and when it starts cleaning it's so silent so yes and that is my new baby it's called shiny yes because of the way it lights up it has a name shiny <laughs> i also made this ka ka shelf myself <laughs> a diy shelf so that just because it's in the bedroom and i don't have anywhere to put these cleaning products i can just use that so that is where i'm putting everything so yeah, let's arrange this area sweet chamomile tea herbal tea then i got a new bulb then i got this yeah this is another kind of tea yes that one mm -hmm. then this is a pillowcase this is a just handkerchief for my baby then i got milk Two liters. Pizza. So one was going for thirty three shillings, and they are four. Yes, they are four of them. These ones. Then I got hand mixer. You know, mine broke. Yeah, the last time that I was doing pastry. Yes. Then I got pasta. that it is quite heavy yeah it has the eject button and the speed is zero to five and then we have the turbo 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 whatever that one yes the watts is 300 300 watts yes and it comes with these two it comes with the one for dough and the one for making all those pastries yes so that is how it looks like Yes, let me put it back in the box because I'm not 
using it like right now so i'll just have to like put it back in there this is the next day and i just wanted to show i've really seen people struggle on the net trying to sort out green grams so i decided to just do this part as i was soaking mine for tomorrow's dinner i just decided to show you how to easily sort out your green grams so the secret is put them in your tray or wherever you're using like to sort them out then slant it on one side you see the way i'm holding them and then try like pulling pushing them backwards trust you me only the the green grams that have no issue will drop and of course you have to be careful you have just to go through it once again you see what i'm doing imagine only the clean green grams will come down trust you me try and if it doesn't work come and tell me that it didn't work so this is the easiest way that i use to sort out my green grams just make sure that as they are dropping you are holding the rest with your hands that is the way you make sure that only the clean ones are going to drop so i just put them those aside because with green grams this was still early in the day and i didn't have like to soak them for almost two days since they are for tomorrow so i just wanted to show you that hack and then i went to the market i got some melons i got the passion melon uh, a passion apple let me tell you i walked through the market for these fruits i know how much my baby loves them like i literally was walking around the market looking for them and then i got beetroots and then i got papers i got assorted paper i got red and yellow yeah and so i had those were omena that were in that bag this time so i also got a bit more of beetroots i'm planning on making smoothies juice and even yes yeah, salads with them i also got some tangerine i got some lemons ginger passion fruit and these passions i think got that were they were really sweet because they are those that you you buy and you find that they are so I also got these broccolis. I found them, the people were selling them Wendo in the market. So I just decided to go. I got like four of them. Yeah, four. And then this time I just also decided to try on the cauliflower. I've never cooked it and I found that it is not that bad. But I don't know what. I don't know if these broccolis were too young or what. But they were not as sweet as the normal broccoli that I'm used to. Because I'm just used to buying the... I'm used to buying the small broccolis, but they are really bulk, but they are small. But this one, they, as you can see, they were really huge. No, I don't know the difference, but I prefer the ones that I buy where I buy because this one, I bought them in town. Yes, yeah, so I also got some cucumbers. I got some courgettes. I, I got eggplants. I'm not so much of a fan of an eggplant, but I decided to just try them out. These peppers, I was getting them one at 20 shillings and the eggplant not the eggplant the courgettes they were going for they were selling one kg for 40 shillings which i found to be quite reasonable and so that is all that i got on this day so let's get into cleaning i just decided to use vinegar and by the way i think i've done most of us do this wrong you're supposed to put and she's a lover of this fruit can you see her stealing the fruit she can't even wait <laughs> and yet i had already cleaned some of them for her yeah so but what i was saying is we get this wrong we are supposed to put whatever the vegetables or the fruits that you are cleaning in bicarbonate or vinegar and let them rest there let them stay there for some minutes before you clean yeah so that is the new way that i'm going to be doing it just soaking them and let them stay there yes
And by the way, don't be fooled because I was so happy that the cauliflower were, that they were all white on the inside. But then I was told that just as clean as they look, that is where they, they as in, you, you understand that insects or pests that you find in these vegetables, they, they camouflage in those in those vegetables and so after soaking them in salty water that is how when i saw that there they were some white by the way to caterpillars that were coming out of them so always soak your broccoli and cauliflower in salty water so that it gets to get all those insects and trust you me just that i could not show you but they were floating even in this water and then i just boiled the water a bit and then i added salt yes and that is what that is the water that i used to like blanch the, i blanch these vegetables the no the broccoli and the cauliflower with yeah you can also add a bit of bicarbonate if you want them to stay green especially when it comes to something like the french beans yeah you can always add that so i just cleaned all of them so that i like to clean them before i saw them in the fridge and then when i'm cooking i will still clean again yeah don't me ask me don't ask me why i clean them twice but it's just that is just me And so I went on ahead and chopped these beetroots and the bananas in the passion. I wanted to make some smoothies and then I was going to use some milk. So yes, that is what I was doing here. It is just what I was about to do here. Just make a smoothie that is so refreshing. Beetroot is always, yeah, it is really good in the body, especially when you're expectant or you just need a good smoothie or you need something that will help you in the in the long run you can always add in beetroot And so here I was just making dinner. I wanted to boil this meat. So I just added in garlic and just some onion. I just to chop them. This is what you, you call dump and go. I just put them in there. Let them just let the pressure cooker do its thing. Yeah. And later on, I just came back and it was very, it was properly cooked. It was literally falling out of the bones. So this is what I wanted to use to make stew for dinner. So come along and let's cook this food together thank you for your time thank you for being here feel much appreciated and loved yes and so my rice i boiled off camera i just added in whole whole pilau spices that is cinnamon cardamom and some black pepper and cumin yes that is the that is what we call in kenya whole 
pilau spices. Yes, just basically cumin, cloves, cardamom, and cinnamon stick. Well, they are still whole without blending them. So that is what I added to my rice. And so next I was just going to use peppers, carrots, and just onion, and garlic, and ginger. That is basically just what I used to to make my to make my my stew 